This is one of the largest seizures of methamphetamine ever made in Nigeria. In mid-November, the anti-drug agency discovered this secret laboratory hidden in the jungle near the southeast city of Oweri. Inside the lab, investigators found drugs worth over a million dollars. On the 9th of November, a team from our headquarters came here and they discovered the lab just behind us, a lab or the cover where they produce this met. And we all know met is a very dangerous drug. Drug enforcement officials arrested dozens of people, including the kingpin, a man in his 30s who amassed a considerable fortune thanks to the drug trade. Drug trafficking is not new to Nigeria. The country has long been a transit point for cocaine and heroin going to Europe and North America. But around 10 years ago, methamphetamines began to be actually produced in the country, meaning Nigerians now control the whole supply chain. Assuming there are 10 or 15 meth labs all over the country, then you can be talking about over a ton per week being produced in Nigeria and it's been shipped out of the country. One kilogram of meth sells for up to $150,000 in Asia, and Nigerian cartels are waging a merciless war for control over the market. Last year, heavily armed men burst into a church in the southeast village of Uzubulu during Sunday mass and shot into the crowd. Thirteen members of the congregation were killed, the victims mostly women and children. A volcanic eruption, it was just, just shootings from at randomly and recklessly inside the church. Uh, before I know what was happening, a lot of people had been shot. The traumatized residents fear that such violence could happen again. With porous borders and widespread corruption, Nigeria risks becoming the world's next narco-state.